Hey guys, James here. This video is how to use Polygon with MetaMask. This is, I think, a game changer for the Ethereum blockchain, allowing all of us to use Ethereum dApps on the Polygon blockchain with far lower fees. I'll show you how to get the Polygon network set up on MetaMask, get some Ethereum tokens in there, and then we'll see how to link up some Ethereum DeFi right through Polygon in MetaMask. Do make sure to sub if you want more helpful crypto videos like this. Firstly, let's get MetaMask and Polygon set up and linked then. Firstly, I'm going to come to Polygon.technology. That is the website. You can see that it's previously Matic Network. It is now called Polygon, although the tokens are still uh, under the ticker of Matic. And then we can come to use Polygon and we can see that actually the benefit is essentially just lower fees for us. You can come and read this if you like. I'm just going to get straight in to linking it up. So come to use Polygon and then come to Polygon Wallet. So if you click on this, it will take you through to a couple of options that you can link up. I'm going to use MetaMask for this one. It's the most popular Ethereum wallet. You can use some other wallets as well, including Coinbase Wallet and a bunch of different wallets through Wallet Connect. We can come and link up our MetaMask though. And if you don't have MetaMask, I'll link a tutorial on how to download and get it set up. But a MetaMask wallet looks something like this. But once you do have a MetaMask set up, we can come back to the Polygon page and then come to connect our MetaMask. So we can click this one. And once you have it set up, it will ask you to connect. So just click on next there. There's no fees to connect it. We can just connect it easily. Click next and then click connect as well. Once that's all done, you can press sign and then your MetaMask wallet is linked up with the Polygon network. And we can see here we are now in the Polygon wallet. So rather than now interacting with the Polygon blockchain through our MetaMask, which is what you do with Ethereum, we can actually go straight into the Polygon wallet. And this is version two that I'm looking at now. It's really important also, though, that we actually link up the Polygon blockchain in our MetaMask. So what we're going to do is come over to our MetaMask main page. If you don't know how to get here, you can download the MetaMask app as an extension. And then all you have to do is go over to your Chrome extensions. Your MetaMask should be in there once it's all set up. You can click on your MetaMask and it will come up with this window right here. And if you want to expand it into a full page, come up to the three dots and go to expand view. And then that will take you through to this. Once you're in your MetaMask, you do have to link up the Polygon blockchain. So we can come up to this option right here. You can see we're on the Ethereum mainnet right now and we can come to custom RPC. So we need to add the Polygon blockchain into our MetaMask. As we come down, you're going to have to fill out some of these options right here. So network name, chain ID and the symbol. There are many different blog posts online that give you the details and I have them right here. So you can see Matic mainnet. So what you have to do is put this information into your MetaMask right here. You can see now that I have input that information. So we've got the block explorer and the currency symbol. We can click on save and then that has been added right at the bottom. So Matic mainnet is now added into our MetaMask and we should be able to interact with the Polygon blockchain without any issues. Once that's done, you can come back to the MetaMask main page if you like. You can see we're right in our Matic mainnet right here. So we don't have any tokens in there right now because we have some Ethereum tokens in the Ethereum part of our wallet. What we can do though is actually transfer some of our tokens from our Ethereum into our Polygon wallet so we can benefit from those much lower fees. What we're going to do then is come back over to our Polygon wallet. The Polygon wallet connects to your MetaMask, so that's really important. But we can see it is a separate wallet that we're using, using our MetaMask to link it up to the Polygon blockchain. Now, what we need to do is move some of the funds from our Ethereum wallet into our Polygon wallet. We can come to move funds to Matic mainnet. So if you click on this, it will come up with something known as Polygon Bridge. This is the way that you move any ERC20 tokens from your Ethereum wallet into your Polygon wallet. Like you can see right here, the Polygon bridge is a fast and secure way to bring cross-chain assets to the Polygon chain. So Polygon is actually a different blockchain to Ethereum. So we need to move our tokens over. You don't have to move Ethereum specifically, as you can see in my MetaMask wallet, I actually have some US dollar tether. And so I'm going to try and move that over into the Polygon blockchain. So what we can do in the from option right here is look for US dollar tether. So I'm going to search for that and it is supported and you can even see it recognizes that I have a balance in my MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to click on USDT right here and then we are going to switch it over to the Matic network. I'm going to click on max because I want to transfer the total amount of my tether. Coming down, we can see the transfer mode is POS bridge. 
this is fine this is the quickest way to do it so that's definitely what we want to do and i'm going to click on transfer right now we can see that the pos bridge is going to take roughly seven to eight minutes to process that transaction so i'm just going to click on continue right here and go ahead we do have to pay some gas fees for the transaction so that's just part of the ethereum network so we click ok on that one Confirm that we are transferring US dollar Tether and ERC20 token from Ethereum into Matic and our transfer mode is the POS bridge. And if you want to transfer funds back, it could take up to three hours. So just to keep that in mind. The estimated transaction fee here, 94 cents. Click continue. Then we have to sign that with our MetaMask wallet. We have to confirm everything is going through, pay that gas fee. So press confirm right there. What you can also do waiting for the transaction is click on view on Etherscan and this should bring up your transaction. You can actually see that this is just going through right now and it's actually a success. So that has gone through. You can see that right here. And my MetaMask has gone through with that as well. So let's just wait for that transaction to go through, get confirmed and completed into the Polygon part of our wallet. That's been confirmed and then we can go through and continue to complete that deposit. So we have to sign this once more with our MetaMask wallet and pay those transaction fees. So click confirm on that. And after a minute or so that has completed. So we are now waiting for that balance to be in and we can X off right now. And to check that the transaction is going through, you can come up to the top of your Polygon wallet. We can actually just go back to the main page right here. You can see up in the top, it says transaction in progress. If you just click on this, you can see it is working for me. So that deposit of the US dollar tether into the Matic network is in progress. It said it can take up to seven minutes. Whilst we're waiting for the transaction to actually go through and get into our Polygon wallet, I can show you how to send and receive funds directly through the Polygon blockchain. So if you have a token that you want to receive into your Polygon wallet, click on receive right here, and then someone can copy this address and send you those coins. This has to be through the Polygon network and enter this into another decentralized wallet if you want to transfer some funds directly into your Polygon using the blockchain, cutting out the Ethereum blockchain and the expensive fees. If you want to go and send some tokens over the Polygon network, click on send right here. You will need some tokens in your wallet already. But for right now, you can see that what is supported is sending funds to any other Matic wallet user. So this will have to go into their Matic wallet. And what is not supported is sending funds to any exchange. This is not supported right now. So it says, please do not send your tokens directly to any exchange. So really important that if you are sending tokens, it has to be to another Matic wallet user. And also you cannot send funds directly to an Ethereum wallet. It has to be directly to a Polygon wallet itself. If you want to move funds back from your Polygon wallet and the Polygon blockchain back to Ethereum, you have to use the Matic bridge once more. So to do that, we can come over to withdraw. It's slightly confusing that you have send and receive up here and then you have deposit and withdraw down here. But deposit and withdraw is using the Polygon bridge. So if you have tokens in an Ethereum wallet, then what you'll need to do is press deposit. Search for the token here. So let's say you had US dollar tether like I had before. Click deposit right here and it will take you back into the Polygon bridge. This is the bridge between Ethereum and the Polygon blockchain. And if you want to withdraw that, then of course click withdraw. It will take you back through to the Polygon bridge. And that is withdrawing back into the Ethereum blockchain into your Ethereum wallet. In this case, it would be MetaMask. So now we know that the Polygon bridge is specifically for transferring between your Polygon wallet and your Ethereum based MetaMask wallet in this case. And if you want to send and receive, you can click these two and this will be a Polygon blockchain based transaction. So good to know the difference there. And we can see that now actually we do have a balance valued in US dollars in our Polygon wallet. And that is amazing. That means that the US dollar tether that we transferred over to the Polygon blockchain has now been deposited. Now that you have some funds on your Polygon blockchain account, you may wanna go and use those with some Ethereum DeFi applications like Aave to actually earn some yield on your tokens. Something else really important to note though before you do that is that if you are using the Polygon blockchain, you will need some Matic tokens to pay for the fees. So before we can do that, we need to get some Matic tokens into our Polygon wallet. And actually it's exactly the same process as we used with our US dollar tether. So if you come back to your Ethereum mainnet, then you're gonna need some Matic tokens right here. You can see I've put some Matic tokens into my MetaMask wallet. There's two ways that you can get these. Firstly, you can use a centralized exchange and buy them. So if you go to Binance, buy some Matic tokens and then send them over to your Ethereum MetaMask wallet first. Or if you have some funds in your Ethereum wallet, you can use something like Uniswap. 
use some Ethereum to actually swap into a token like Matic, as you can see, and then you can get some Matic tokens in your Ethereum wallet. But what we're gonna have to do is switch back to the Matic mainnet, go into our Matic wallet, and then use the bridge once more to actually get those Matic tokens over. So if we go to Matic right here, you can see there is a token Matic that we want to deposit. So we're gonna click on deposit right here and then switch that over. You should be able to see there is a balance. So we do have some Matic tokens and then we can switch that over to the Matic network. I won't go through this transaction because it is exactly the same as the US dollar tether transaction that you've seen previously. Coming back to our wallet main page though, after we've gone through that transaction, you can see a couple of things are different. Firstly, we do have some extra funds on our account and you can see that those Matic tokens are now with us. Now that we have Matic tokens to pay for fees, we can go and do exactly the same thing with any other token that we want in our account. We can also use some Ethereum dApps to actually go and lend out our tokens or do anything else that we want. Just as a quick example to show you what you can do, you can come over to a dApp like Aave. This is actually an Ethereum based dApp, but they have got a protocol now that we can use with Polygon. That means we can benefit from Ethereum DeFi, but also benefit from the really low fees that Polygon gives us. What we have to do then is make sure that we can connect our Polygon wallet. So come over to your MetaMask first, make sure that you are in the Matic mainnet right here. Then we can come over to Aave once again, and we can go through to the Polygon blockchain version. So make sure this is highlighted right here and then come down to the token that you want to use. In our case, we can use US dollar tether. So I'm gonna click on deposit. It will take us through to the deposit page. In the top right hand corner, make sure that you are connected to the Polygon blockchain with your wallet and that you are on the Aave market that is Polygon and not the other markets that are on Aave. You can see some market details right here, but what's really important for us is showing us that we do have that US dollar tether in our Polygon wallet. What I wanna do is go ahead and press max because I wanna transfer that tether into this dApp and start earning some passive income on it. So I'm gonna click continue. It will then show us the approvals. So we have to go through these. I'm gonna click approve right here, come to the right hand side, and you can see the massive, massive difference between Polygon and Ethereum is that the fee is basically nothing. It's 0.001 Matic. So that is absolutely amazing for us. We can click continue. That's gone through our wallet and that has been approved, which is great. We can then click on deposit. It will come back into our MetaMask. You can see the fees right here are virtually non-existent. It makes me feel so good. So click on confirm right here. Just wait for that to go through. That has been confirmed once more for us and you can see everything is approved and deposited. What you can do now is come over to your dashboard. So click on dashboard, you can see your deposits. We have a deposit right here in US dollar tether. You can see the balance right here and you can also see the APY. So the APY is the interest rate that we'll be getting and it is compounded. What you can also see below here is an APR in Matic coins as well. Matic is essentially giving a bonus right now for using the Polygon blockchain. And so for depositing some US dollar tether on account and earning an income, you will also be earning some free Matic tokens at 6.86% APR right now. Yes, that can change and the value of Matic tokens can change as well. So definitely not financial advice, but that is the state of the market as it is right now. Yes, this is a little bit complicated, so definitely check out the timestamps in the description if you're confused to go back to a section of the video. And also check out the links and other resources in the description that will all be in there for you. Do subscribe for daily helpful crypto content, and I'll see you in the next one.